Hi, this is Nick Brandon from TechWork. Um, we provide IT and telecom services to businesses in Kent, Sussex and London. And today I'm ask, answering the question, how much does IT support cost? Uh, so my immediate answer is £25 a month. Um, that's what we tend to charge as a, a starting point for small to medium sized customers who are reasonably local to us. That would include um, everything, unlimited support. Uh, not including site visits. But you might find that you get quoted more or less than that. And it does depend on your business and also depends on the support company that are providing the support to you. So I'm just gonna go through why that might be more or less. Obviously, if you've got a small number of users, you're probably gonna pay a higher price per user, more than 25 pound a month. And if you've got a, a larger number of users, the price should go down because of economies of scale um, kick in. But there are some things that also would affect the price. So I'm just going to go through and list some of these. So uh, your support company um, hopefully have a ticketing system, which is a system that manages all uh, tickets and faults and issues raised. That would normally mean that uh, an email will go into your help desk, into the ticketing system, you'd be given a reference number, and then that would be allocated to an engineer uh, to resolve. And that ticketing system will help manage the tickets and also it will help measure the response time to all the tickets and make sure that tickets aren't forgotten. So those sorts of ticketing systems do normally cost extra money for the supplier. Um, so that might inflate their costs um, to some extent. Uh, they also might have monitoring software. So, for instance, we use Artera, which we pay for, which is a monitoring software application, which is put on all devices that we support. And any time there's any problem with those devices, we get uh, alerts. Um, we may also put in some monitoring on your firewalls and routers so that if your internet connection always goes, uh, ever goes down, we also get um, alerted to that. So we will probably know that you've got a problem before you do. Um, so that might also be an extra cost. You've also got to look at the number of customers that the support company has uh, versus the number of help desk people. So the way that we uh, are able to provide, provide wow factor support is by always having more help desk people available than we actually physically need. Now, of course, some uh, businesses like us might elect to scrimp on this uh, and they may decide to try and get their money's worth and they may not have enough uh, business uh, help desk people to deal with the numbers of customers, so their response time will go up. But of course, if they do have that situation, then their costs are lower because they're not employing the numbers of people that they need to employ to provide wow factor support. Um, you've also got to look at the, the things that are being supported. So if you've got some old, slow equipment um, that has regular problems, and you're running older operating systems, then that's gonna be more expensive and there's gonna be more tickets. So you might find that you pay a higher charge. Um, also, if you've moved away from premises-based servers, then the support charge should go down because by moving to cloud uh, and Microsoft 365 and SharePoint and Azure and things like that, makes it more maintenance or low maintenance. So you should find that um, your charges should be lower rather than having lots of tin in your server racks. Um, you've also got to look at what's included within the support. We provide remote um, unlimited support for everything. Um, some companies might charge extra for um, doing this and that on various bits of your IT setup. And they also might um, charge extra for site visits, which I think is probably a good thing because you don't want to really include site visits because that would inflate the price. Um, and yeah, look at advanced um, unlimited support. Hopefully they're, they're providing this and not charging you extra for doing other bits. Um, sometimes 
customers ask us, well, I just want to pay a monthly retainer, that's fine, you can do that. Um, but for smaller customers, we have an advanced crediting system. So we will charge them for uh, 10 hours of support in advance, which they pay for, and then they use up their 10 hours as they go along, and then they replenish their advanced support credits when the time uh, comes when they've used up all their credits. So that's quite a good way of doing things, but only really manageable for maybe smaller businesses. Um, not so easy for us to manage that when there's lots of people to support for your business. And also look at whether they're including other things like routers, firewalls, Wi-Fi and things like that. The more things that are included, really, the more the charge should be. Um, but, you know, it, it really does depend. Um, also look at your your contracts. We tend to just charge a 30 day monthly rolling contract. Um, we have some customers saying, or oh, can I pay for an annual contract? That's fine too. I would recommend that no business ever has more than a 12 month contract because in my experience, lots of IT providers really need to prove themselves and you don't find out how good they are until you start using them. So being committed for more than 12 months is certainly not a good idea. That's why the 30 day rolling contract, I think is a good way of doing it. Obviously, they may try to get you to sign up to longer contracts, mainly probably because they've got to pay salespeople commission up front. Um, we don't have that problem because, um, yeah, we just don't have that problem because we don't pay salespeople. Um, we don't really have any salespeople other than um, myself and um, our techies that basically aren't really salespeople. We're just solution providers, really. Um, and uh, we don't have to pay commission. So so that's um, that's it really in a nutshell. Uh, there's probably a lot more I could talk about if I thought about it, but if you want to know a, a decent benchmark price for IT support for your business, I would say 25 pound a month is a good starting point per user. Thank you very much. If you need any help or advice, please get in touch. Uh, our website address is techwork.co.uk, that's T-E-C work.co.uk. You can email us at helpme at techwork.co.uk or you can phone 01892 578 Thank you very much and I do hope that's been helpful for you. Bye bye.